Hello everybody, this is Hassan Nafid, your anatomy and physiology instructor at Madison College in Wisconsin. We will continue talking about the reproductive system. This time we will talk about the female reproductive organ. The female reproductive organ is similar to the male system in the sense of both having primary organs and secondary organs. The ovaries are the primary female organs. There is two ovaries, one on each side, right and left. The ovaries are the places where ovum or eggs are produced or the female sex cells are produced, mature and ovulate. The accessory organs are supportive organs that also nurture the female reproductive organ. The ovaries are like the testes, they also are both exocrine and endocrine glands or organs that secrete hormones as well as other substances. I have two models of the female organs and the female pelvis to share with you and understand the anatomy of the female organs. This model will show the inferior as well as the superior parts of the female organ. I'm gonna start off with external genitalia. If you see here, these are the labia. This is a labia major and this is a labia minor. And this is the orifice or the opening of the vagina. These muscles are the muscles that support the pelvis. Moving up here, I'm gonna start off with the uterus. This is the uterus. This is the fundus of the uterus. This is the body and the cervix is underneath. So a body or a fundus, body and cervix. The uterus is located between the rectum and the bladder in the front. From the uterus, comes out two tubes. We call them the fallubian tubes, or we call them uterine tube, one on each side. The uterine tubes or the fallubian tubes will end by the embryo or the fimbria, and these are two finger-like processes. Their role is to grab the mature follicle or the mature ovum or the ovulated egg, and bring it down the tube to the uterus where fertilization is expected to take place. Sometimes this is not the case, unfortunately, where fertilization will take place in the tube itself. And instead of the uterus, this is known as tubal pregnancy and it's also known as ectopic pregnancy and it's something that is unfortunate, but it does happen sometimes due to pelvic inflammatory disease or other conditions. The uterus is supported by the round ligaments. This is the round ligament here, one on each side. It's also supported by the broad ligament. This is one broad ligament. This is another broad ligament of the uterus. Moving to the ovaries, which are the primary female organs, there is two ovaries, one on each side, right and left. And the ovaries are supported by ovarian ligaments, one on each side. This is another model showing a side view or a lateral view of the pelvis as well as the female reproductive organs. Here in the back, we have the rectum, but in the front here, we have the bladder. This is the uterus in the middle. So the uterus is located anterior to the rectum and posterior to the bladder. So there is some anatomical relationship between the uterus and the bladder and the uterus and the rectum. And that's why in cases of pregnancy, sometimes early pregnancy might present with just 
increased frequency of menstruation or increased frequency of urination due to the presence of um, a fertilized ovum that is uh, in the uterus and it irritates the bladder and causing this feeling. Note also here the uterine tubes. I'm going to turn it this side so you can look at it. So here are the uterine tubes, the two of them. Actually one here due to the presence of one side. This is our uterine tube. And I'm going to turn it this way. You can see the fimbria. So the fimbria and the uterine tubes. Fimbria and the uterine tube. In front of it, here you're going to see the ovary. So this is the ovary and this is the ovarian ligament. Ovary, ovarian ligament. And this is the uterus. I'm going to open the uterus and expose the inner part of the uterus to share with you some other structures. This is also a side view and if you notice here, this is the bladder, this is the urethra opening and by the way, it is different from the male as we know in the female, the urine and the baby do not share of course the same passage. This is the vagina or the vagina if you want to say that too. And this is the cervix, vagina, vaginal orifice, cervix, and it's connected with the uterus. As you see, the uterus has its three layers. We have the myometrium, which is the muscular layer of the uterus. We have the perimetrium, and we have the endometrium, which is the inner lining of the uterine wall. Sometimes there is a condition known as endometriosis that causes irregular bleeding, pain, and discomfort. It's common in women after the age of 45. It presents with irregular cycle or intermenstrual bleeding. Here on the side also, I wanted you to notice the presence of the fallopian tubes. the ligaments, the ovary, ovarian ligament, and the round ligament. All right. Down below, you're going to find the external genitalia. Taking again another look at the uterus, I want to explain the part of the uterus. This is the fundus, which is kind of anteriorly. This is the body. And this is the cervix, which is the last part of the uterus. This is a preserved uh, human um, uterus, ovary, and, and a ligament that I want to share with you. Let me show you the parts here. It's put in a glass, of course, in a preservative. This is the fundus of the uterus. This is a body. And this is the cervix. Open a little bit here. On the side, you see the two fallopian tubes. This is one tube, that's the other one, and two ovaries, as you can see it from here. This is one ovary, and this is the second ovary. If I turn it from the front, um, about the same without any labeling. Again, the fundus of the uterus, the body, the cervix, the two tubes, and the two ovaries on the site. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow in the class.